What up, homies? What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> What's wrong with me? Uh, I am going to play some blasts. Um, I'm filming some YouTube for YouTube content because we are going to be away for a month at the WSOP in Las Vegas. Uh, I'm going to play the main event and like a bunch of other tournaments. Not a bunch, but like a few. I think I'm going to play one 5K and then maybe some like $1,000 buy-ins and 1500s and stuff. I'm super, super psyched. Super psyched to be representing A to Date at like my first big live stop as well. Um, I mean, I, w I went to like one small one, but like nothing super huge yet. Uh, so yeah, I'm like really, really, really pumped for that. But there are not going to be too many stream highlights. So I am going to try and, uh, you know, get some content going here for you guys so that we don't just vanish for four weeks like we did recently. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna hop into some hundred dollar blasts and just duke it out and see what's going on over over on eight to eight with that. And uh, yeah, let's let's hop right into the action. So uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna register in four. I'm not sure how often these will fire, as you can see from the uh, little backdrop there. It is the evening, so maybe like a thirty bucker blast, right? Like I don't have to play a hundred. Yeah, let's play some thirty buckers. Play some, uh, play some hundreds if they fire. So we can, we'll, we'll sit some sit, sit the sit and go lobbies over here. Oh, we don't want to miss the most exciting part, the part where we spin three hundred grand. What is one fifty? Starting with a sixty. All right. Well, you know, could be better. Could be better. But if you guys are new to Blast, if you guys haven't checked this out, if you've uh, mostly been playing the the similar variant of uh, I don't even know what it's called on those sites, so, uh, but uh, of spin and goes on uh, on stars. Blasts are like a different, uh, in in my opinion, a more fun fun way. I like, there's Annie's in this. You start with 30 big blinds instead of 25. Um, and it has like a blast off, right? So like at the end of six minutes, in, in the in the minimum ones and the lower ones, at the end of the, oh, another 60, dude. Never lucky. Just legit never lucky. At the end of the six minutes, you, uh, you, are, you are all in every hand until there's a winner. Now, like, I understand, like, a lot of people will be like, oh, my God, that's silly, that's gimmicky, I don't like that, that's so much variance. And, like, you know, that's fine. You know, it's not it's not catered for everybody. Um, but I prefer this. I think it's, like, fun. I think it's fucking hilarious. Um, I'm psyched for the blast-offs. I mean, we made, like, a relatively standard raise in the cutoff here with Jack 7 series, but I, I, like, enjoy the blasts, and you guys are gonna definitely gonna see a few of them. Unless I just somehow run insanely bad or insanely good. 420 blaze in the pot, and this guy just leads pot. So, like, these games are, like, pretty soft as well. I haven't played in a single game that's had all regulars yet. A lot of people will be like, oh, my God, that's such bad value. Four-handed, $200 only. I mean, it's just different. It's all going to balance out in the long run. I mean, the odds are the same as, like, any other site, any anywhere else. Um, but, yeah, it's just... Uh, it's, it's the exact same thing, it's just four-handed. So uh, the way that it works is they have two Xs, they have five Xs, and then I don't, I think I've gotten one 10X lifetime, but it goes it goes two X and five X are obviously the most uh, most common ones. In a five X, uh, top two places are paid. So first gets 350 and second gets 150 in a hundred. Basically three and a half buy-ins and uh, a buy-in and a half. So there is some ICM in these. Um, which I also like because I enjoy ICM. Um, if you guys don't know what ICM is, you know, do some Googling, look some stuff up. Basically, it's just that the importance of caching is like the very dumbed down version. It, it means that like the last chip on your stack is worth more than like the first chip that you put in the pot. In a, in a winner take all scenario, so like in both of these where it's just first place uh, gets the cake, it's uh, there's no ICM involved here. I'm gonna call this here. I mean, it's not like insanely likely that he has like an ace it's, it's entirely possible this is even less likely now that's a really good river for us as well because we now counterfeit queen five queen four five four i think i'm just gonna pay and if he just has an ace then he's got an ace you know he could have deuce three i guess yeah nice um i guess we're just gonna fire two more blah two more 30s here i'm still sitting in the hundred but it is pretty late oh oh dude oh <laughs> Oh, it's a hundred! Oh, I thought it was a. I thought I thought it was a thirty. I'm um, such a donk. Uh, we we got a five hundred in our first hundred, which is fantastic. And down in the bottom left here is the, is the uh is the five is the five hundred, which means we're already running ever so slightly above EV at our highest stake. We're gonna get it in here with the four and a half bigs with the jack ten suited. 
I mean, I don't really know what this guy's raising range is. We haven't played enough with him at all. He's got Queen Knight. That's super weird handy, though. That's a fantastic turn. Okay, okay. So we haven't bust a single game yet. I think that you could just min-raise in this. Like, I, I don't see any need to be raising. I mean, unless you do become a reg in these games, and at some point you notice who the regs are and whatnot, and if somebody defends their big blind really wide, then you can, you know, raise a little bit more. But for the most part, I'd say... I'm also just going to raise a little bit blind versus blind when I don't know the players. I, I'm going to go ahead and assume that everybody in these games is... In a, in, a, in a format where I don't know too many people and it's not an insanely high buy-in, um, I'm just going to go ahead and assume that everybody is not great at the game until I'm proven otherwise. We're all in with the Ace Deuce here over this limb. This is the last time for the Blast Off, by the way. This is going to be our first Blast Off coming in. And this guy's potting again. These guys are nuts. I mean, this guy's limp folding. Ooh, big hold coming. Big hold coming. Mm. Yes, dude. All right, so we're blasting off, team, and we're gonna be calling it off in the in the in the 100 as well. So this is what a blast looks like. A blast off. You get dealt seven deuce. Uh, we're all in down here in the a7 as well. He flopped a straight, so that didn't go well. He just pot potted with a flop straight in our hundred, so that's actually the worst thing ever. But we did win this bad boy, so we should be uh, down seventy dollars at the moment. We're blasting off down here as well. It's not been going well. Oh man, maybe four tables is honestly too much uh, when I'm trying to talk talk over hands and whatnot. Maybe I should just be three tabling. Yeah, I'm just gonna three table for now. I think that's a little bit better, especially when I'm like trying to talk about stuff and whatnot. So we get a 200 and the 100. I think I might have missed the, missed the, uh, the spin again. <sighs> Hectic times there. All right, we're on the fight back here, unless we just win. Did we just win it? No. Okay, we're on the fight back. We're shipping in with the ace queen for 10 bigs up here. Ooh, we had the best of it pre. Come on, king or a five. King or a five. Oh, we did not get there. Hold, though. Nice. I can already anticipate all of your guys' fucking comments. Oh my god, this is the dumbest thing ever. After six minutes, it just goes all in every hand. I'm playing these. I, uh, I play these on break when I'm streaming at neverlucky.tv. They're fun. They have Andy's from the start. Um, they have, and they're four-handed, which I prefer over three-handed. And I'll, I swear to the sweet baby Jesus, I'm not saying this just because I am a sponsored 8 to poker ambassador. I do genuinely prefer these two spin and goes. Oh my God, dude. He just raised called 30 bigs. Like this is what I'm talking about, you know? Like these games are really soft. These games are like crazy soft, team. But we're just not. We're we're we're, we're going poorly here. All right, we're all in over here. This is an early early uh early heads up. That's good. We can only chop. Very nice. But I uh, basically what I was getting at. Wait, we've been out of this one for ages. We just got the heads up. But basically what I was getting at is I just prefer the format. I I genuinely enjoy the uh the all in. The Omega Lull all in at the end of it. Uh, one time for the good guys, more than a 60. Never times. So, uh, there are obviously going to be a heap of 2Xs if you guys have any uh, experience with this kind of format. We're going to have a blast off after this hand, it looks like. Oh, maybe we'll play one more? Yeah, we'll play one more hand, it looks like. Oh, uh, maybe not? No, we're all in now. Okay. Six? Man, dude. Man, people love to click the pot, don't they? They literally are just potting like every single hand. Maybe we should just call because we have middle pair. That is a bad turn. You know, and just like, now nah, we should probably just shove because if he has a draw, we want to get the chips in uh, on the flop. Like if he has like a spade draw or a straight draw, we definitely want to get the chips in while we're ahead. Yeah, like what the fuck is happening? We obviously get binked on, because we are never, ever lucky. But, like, what? Okay, let's, let's, oh, it's 100. Come on. Come on, dealer. Come on, dealer. 100. Stop. No, it's going to go to 200. God damn it, dude. I'd be so fucking hyped if we got a, a 10K or something. I'd just be sitting in my part apartment at, like, fucking the middle of the night, just, like, go! screaming, screaming at my PC. Would not be the first time, will not be the last. 
I'm gonna take a stab at this. I really don't like it though, because if I get check raised, um, it's a bad situation for us. I think raising over limps in these should be really good. I think you should probably do that. I don't really have a set strategy for these. I'm sort of just hopping in and going with the flow. But yeah, I think that raising over limps in, in, in sort of any format like this, I think uh, where your opponents aren't gonna be quite as good as you, or, you know, just, yeah, basically not as good as you, then you should definitely be raising over limps a ton. So this guy limps the button, we go three ways to flop, we bet the turn after checking the flop, and now we're gonna come in for some juicy value on the river, basically pot it up. Assuming he does have a jack a lot of the time, and then he will just pay basically always when he has a jack. This guy just called me a prick. That's not very nice. Um, I'm gonna bet really small here. Not really small, but like, you know, like 25% pot. Okay, I'm gonna barrel. We do pick up the two pair. Mm, do we wanna shove? No, I don't think we wanna shove. Let's bet 420 blazer here. Raising in the 30 with the ace king as well. I, dude, if he has a flush, I'm gonna be not pleased. No diamond, no pair, just a fucking shitty gut shot to not even close to the nuts. Like, excuse me, sir? What are you doing? Is this ace king good for the good for the pot here? You know, I was just about to say, you know, if he bets big, like I'm really inclined to call because I mean listen, we we can't really know what these guys are doing at any point in any hand. But like he really is only representing a straight here or like a five four or six four, you know? So, I mean, we just see too many stupid things. Like, I feel like he's just gonna turn over like king three off like so often. Okay, so he checked the turn with six five. I mean, that's whatever. I didn't think he should be checking the turn with like six five too often. By the way, this is a five X. I didn't even talk about it, but you can see the background. The background is blue when it's a two X. It's uh, orange when it's a five X. And I highly doubt that I am lucky enough to ever get anything higher than a five X. Um, but here's to praying, here's to hoping, you know? Praying. Put on a little rant on Twitter recently. Just just out there ranting up a storm, you know. Um, but definitely, uh, you guys hit me up, hit me up on Twitter. Oh my goodness, that's not a good result. At Tonka Pete with four A's. I think we can get away with some looser shoves as well. Um, the antes are not uh, especially high; they're actually pretty small. Um, but I still think that like a shove like this, like King Four for like five bigs, is like pretty interesting, pretty good. Just like you should be calling in the big blind here. He should be calling with like seven six suited, you know, like seven five suited. And like there's just no chance that he's calling with those hands four. Um, but it obviously does suck because we, like I said, we are there is ICM. Second place does get paid, uh, but that is I just think like the, those kind of wider shoves on the button should be should be pretty pretty sound. This is going really poorly. Really, really, really poorly. We bet the flop with this nine, and it's not looking great. I, I should have value bet, I think. I should have value bet. I wasn't paying enough attention. Like, what are we supposed to do versus a forex? Like, off these stack sizes, like, call, I guess? Okay, that's nice. But, like, I, I don't know, man. I think we just check twice. Like, we're not really scared of anything. He probably has, like, you know, a hand like queens, jacks, ace, queen, ace, jack, like, ace, ten. So, like, I'm not super scared. There are bad rivers like the ace of spades but you can't really be too scared here yeah that's so stupid dude we need him to bluff you know like he's got like seven outs there like he's not gonna call a bet we need to give him the chance to fire and bluff also what the fuck is he doing checking back ace jack like what all right we're well, heads up for the cheddar here can we win one dude like we won one thirty dollar one i think uh we definitely shove i mean we're supposed to be calling eight blinds with this hand okay so he's limp calling jack seven off suit that's, uh, you know, definitely an interesting play. It's definitely, uh, definitely an interesting play. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's fucking blast off here. We're off to the races. Dude, deuce five? Just toss a five out there. Five, a four, a deuce. Mm, mm, mm. All right, so it's gonna be an epic comeback when we come back from these 330 chips. God, thank God I'm not doing, like, a fucking... Jamie Staples bank or bankroll challenge in these in, in like he did in the spinning goes Thank fucking goodness because I would be moving down to like the 30s or the 15s or something instantly as I just 
lose every single game that I play. Man, these flops. I can get down with these flops. We're going to come back from 330 chips for the W. Six cards straight. Oh, we're spinning in a 30 as well. We're spinning. Oh, we've got a do state down here. Come on. Oh, it's another. Oh, it's a 150. They slow rolled us for the good one. No, dude, we didn't come back. So we brick another one. Oh, dude, that was that was 100 as well. All right, so we got two 5Xs back to back. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Um, we'll come in for a limp here. Good pop. Oh! That's actually an awful turn, obviously. Obviously, we want like a big card on the turn, right? We want him to be able to like pick up a like a like a boat on the turn. I mean, maybe he just did pick up a boat. I'm gonna do what these these kids do and just pot it up. No, never action. To be fair, it is pretty hard in a limp pot blind versus blind to get action when you flop quads. We're gonna see bet super small three ways just because there's no need to bet super big on this board texture. But, I mean, as I say that, you know, maybe I should just be betting bigger because maybe these guys will just be like, oh, you know, it's super cheap. I'll just call with my queen high. I mean, do I want a three row bluff? Do I think that he just snap checks a six like that or ever has a seven? Or do I want to try to bluff him off of his, like, queen highs and three highs and stuff? I'm just going to go for it. No need to go all in here as well because he's either going to be calling or he's not going to be calling, you know? It's not like he's going to have, like, a questionable spot with a boat or, like... Unless he like starts, unless he has like ace three there for like the bottom pair that just got counterfeited and he's got ace high and he considers a call with ace high. Like honestly, we could have even bet less than 490. We could have bet like 320. Oh, it's the print guy. Wish I'd shown him the bluff now. No, <laughs> eight seven here. Eight seven. He bets two hundred on the flop. We're going. We're going in. We're going in. Hot and heavy. Oh my God. We're like drunk dead on the flop. We get it running eights, running straight cards, running clubs. We do cash. Forty five bucks. Hey, hey. Yes, I would like to play another. I said, give me get. Ew! Just one time. Let me get like a bigger one than five x. You know. Sorry, but when I was explaining the blast before, uh, when you do get a higher stakes one, a 10x or a 15x or a 20x or a 30x, whatever whatever increments they are, this guy is the absolute worst. We're going to have to give him the, uh... oh my god, he just binks it on us. Uh, uh, uh. We have to give him the fish tag here. Oh yeah, when it when it is a higher stakes one, uh, when it when it's more money, more more cash money, it, it's, it's a four two minute levels. So it's eight minutes total before the blast off. So a little bit more time to complete the game, a little bit less of variance there. We're all in. I'm all in, yeah. And I ain't all back. Oh my God, dude, we got absolutely trapped by Ace Five off for six blinds. Hold. Come on, let's go out with a bang. Let's go out with a bang in the blast. I'm just shoving here because I just think people limp way too wide, so. He's just probably going to limp fold a ton. Also, it is the bubble, so there is that ICM that we were talking about before. So I'm just going to shove again with the queen deuce. Basically, top two cash, right? So, like, busting third place is just, like, so, so, so bad. So we can just be crazy wide here in most spots. You know, this isn't even wide. This is just a super-duper easy shove. Pretty nice little down the stretch here to be collecting all these chips right before the blast off. Gives me a much better chance if it does go to a blast off. Go on, walk it up, boys. Let's walk it up. Oh, we're going to be blasting off after this end here. I don't really know what I want to win. I guess I want the ace three to win. I mean, I guess I just want there to be a winner, right? Because I think I'd rather, like, play a heads up all in than, uh... And, oh, yeah, of course I'd, like, as long as there's a winner, it's fine because I'm basically guaranteed to cash. But I definitely want that guy to win now thinking about it. And unless something crazy happens here, like, a straight running out on the board, we are going to scoop it. Let's go. We ended off with a bang, like I said. Thanks for checking out this video, guys. If you guys like this, if you guys like these blasts, let me know if you guys want me to make more videos. I mean, I already know that, like, all of you are just going to be like, Oh, my God, that was so bad. Not all of you, but a bunch of you. The vocal the vocal minority. There's going to be a bunch of you watching videos like, Yeah, these are these, these are fun. I can see how this is, this is fun. You know, but, I mean, I thoroughly enjoy them. I didn't enjoy this session because we lost money. And, you know, I'm, I'm really excited for when we finally get that big one. 
If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you like it. If you uh, if you didn't, I'm sure you're going to tell me in the comment section because you guys are, are evil, are evil. If you have a positive thing to say, please say that because I like positive things much more than negative things. Um, if you're not subscribed already to the channel, be sure to do so. It is free. It's one click. You get notifications when we upload new videos, which is, you know, most fucking days. Um, but thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace out, homies. It's cello time, boys. Check it out.